अगर आप एक सक्सेसफुल सिविल इंजीनियर बनना चाहते हैं तो हमारे चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करें इंस्टा अपडेट्स के लिए बेल आइकॉन को प्रेस करें हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू प्रिपेयर एक्सेल शीट फॉर द क्वांटिटीज ऑफ फुटिंग ओके सो फॉर प्रिपेयरिंग द एक्सेल शीट फर्स्ट वी हैव टू सी द डायमेंशन ओके सो लेट एस सी द डायमेंशन ऑफ द फुटिंग सो हियर वी हैव द डायमेंशन फॉर द फुटिंग हियर वी हैव देंथ वन पॉइंट टू मीटर ब्रेथ वन पॉइंट एट मीटर एंड डेप्थ इज जीरो पॉइंट फोर फाइव मीटर ओके सो दीज वैल्यूज आर फ्रॉम द प्रीवियस वीडियोज नाउ वी हैव टू डू सम पेज सेटअप ओके सो फॉर डूइंग पेज सेटअप वी हैव टू गो इन पेज ले आउट ओके सो वी हैव टू क्लिक हियर द पेज ले आउट ऑप्शन इन पेज ले आउट नाउ वी हैव टू डू द ओरिएंटेशन पार्ट सो चेंज द ओरिएंटेशन फ्रॉम पोर्ट्रेट टू लैंडस्केप ओके from portrait to landscape because uh, and now the paper size means in which paper size paper you want to take print out uh, selected paper size i have selected here a4 size okay now after doing this come here the right side here down to the zoom level and some reduce some zoom when zoom out then you can see that this is the paper size what we have here means we have set our paper in landscape mode and a4 size so, okay so these are the boundaries for that okay so this is one paper one a4 size paper in landscape mode okay now once again i will uh, reduce this one to the 100% okay now we'll come to home okay and i will select here excel sheet after selecting the sheet i will uh, select here in the alignment section i will click on the center with this uh, center whatever we write it will come in the center okay then after in front i'll select here all borders after selecting all borders now for our excel sheet borders and center text alignment is completed now i will give here the main heading for main heading we have to give calculation for the quantities calculation for the quantities of footing now we have after giving the main heading now we have to give the subheading so in the subheading we have to start with the serial number so in the first box in the subheading write down as serial number second one as description okay and third one we will write it as item then fourth one we'll going to write as numbers then fifth one will be length next will be breadth then we have to write it as depth now if you want to calculate you can calculate the area of footing it depends upon interest if you want you can calculate okay so we can calculate area of footing also then we can write here volume of concrete okay not shutting area volume of concrete we have to write so i'll write here volume of concrete After volume of concrete shuttering area. After shuttering area, now we have to uh, write down as bitumen paint area. Bitumen paint area is our last calculation. Now in the last box, after bitumen paint area, we'll write it as remarks. Okay, so at remark we have completed or at remark we have completed our sheets. Okay. so what i will do i will drag our main heading till remark then here in the alignment section i will do merge and center now our main heading has come in center now i will uh, do this thing then our description and all other elements have been arranged perfectly now uh, what i will do i will select the main heading and subheading and i'll make it bold and i'll give some color theme now i'll write down the units for example length unit will be in meters or in feet what it may be but here we have in meters so i'm writing here in meter okay but for the area of footing volume of concrete shutting area bitumen paint area values will be different like if for area of footing here we'll write down as in square meter so for giving square meter value we'll click right then we'll select here format cell and in format cell you will select here superscript and then we will click okay now we can write here value 2 then it will become as a square meter 
Okay, so the same procedure follow for the cubic meter. Write down it has in then in M call format cell superscript and write down here three so it will become cubic meter. Now copy the shuttering area unit from area of footing and okay. So like this we have our completed our unit parts. Now we have to write down here the values. Okay. So write down first here serial number one, description footing one. Then uh, after writing the description, then write item as F1. Okay, in item section. F1. Then in numbers, numbers means in our plan how many footings we have. Like F1, how many numbers of F1 we have? For example, we have five F1s. Then length is we have here 1.2. Okay, so this length and all we have got from previous videos. If you see here, length is 1.2, breadth is 1.8, depth is 0.45 meter. Now we can enter the values here as 1.2, 1.8, and 0.45. Now we have to give the area of footing formula. Okay, so for giving the uh, area of footing formula, which is L into B square meter, I will write down here is equals to. Okay. So first I'll type here is equals to then I'll select here length 1.2 then I'll write down here multiplication symbol from the number keyboard then I'll select the breadth then this area formula I will multiply with the numbers because this value will L into B will give us only area of one footing but we have your five footing so that's why we are multiplying with the numbers. Now we have got that five footing area. Now we have to give the volume of concrete formula. So volume of concrete formula we have here L into B into D cubic meter means length into breadth into depth cubic meter. So I will write down here is equals to then I will multiply length into breadth into depth. That too with the numbers. Now we will get the volume of concrete for five footings. Okay. So after this what we have to do we will find out the shuttering area. Okay. So for shuttering area formula is L plus B into 2 into D. Okay. If you are finding any difficulties for the formula, you can uh, download the file from description in which we have formulas and you can also check the previous video. Okay. So for shuttering area, we have your value L plus B into 2 into D. Okay. Then this whole formula will uh, close in a bracket. Then we will multiply this thing, this formula with number of footings which are 5 so we will get uh, sh between shuttering area for 5 footings now bitumen paint area so bitumen paint area formula is L plus B into 2 into D plus L into B top area means 4 side area plus top area so 4 side area we have formula L plus B into 2 into D so we will write here is equals to ok so uh, write down here is equals to is equals to open bracket then I'll write down here L plus B into 2 into D plus L into B open bracket and write down as L into B which is top area of footing now close this whole formula in bracket okay after closing the whole front line bracket, multiply this formula with numbers. So we get the which are a bitumen paint area for 5 footings. Okay, so see the formula here L plus B into 2 into D plus L into B. That is the top area. Okay, so if you see here if the chain numbers with the values, the values will get changed automatically. Automatically, the values will get changed. If I have 10 footings, then the value will be for the 10 footing. If I have 5 footings, the value will become for the 5 footings. So, uh, like this, we calculate. For example, if you have other footings, okay. So, like for example, if you have here footing 2, okay. So, for footing 2, we'll write here footing 2 F2. If we have 6 F2s, then the length is 1.3, breadth is 1.6 and we have here depth 0 0.45, not 0 0.45, 0 0.5. Then we have area of footing. So for area of footing, no need of giving formula. We can click on the area of footing and if you see in the right side this plus 
symbol dark plus symbol if we drag that one below we will get the automatic formula we will get the formula directly no need of applying ok so uh, like this we calculate the quantities in excel sheet if you still have any doubts you can write us in comment section friends if you like our videos please do subscribe to our channel and share with your friends as much as possible because this channel is for you by you ok and thank you for the thousand subscribers ok thank you very much please do share with your friends